Sarda, is it really you? Of course it's me, and right now I have friends back in that cave that ain't rescuing. If you're any good with that sword, I could use your help. <laughs> Somebody once told me that knowledge is sharper than a sword. Before I charge into a fight, I could use a little more of that. Joel Lasovic? But it, it can't be. How could it be here? Yes, I am Lasovic, though no one has called me a Toa in a very long time. As for how I got here, it's a long story, my friend. Ah! Stop! Leave him alone! <laughs> Oh, nonsense! There is a war to be fought in this place, and a universe to win. But first, I need to sharpen my claws in combat. When I'm done with the two of you, I will be ready at last. Ready to conquer! <laughs> Oh, don't bother to fight. No one, not even the legendary Manus Crab, has been able to break those bonds. You don't remember me, do you? Should I? No, I guess you wouldn't. But we have crossed paths before. It was many, many thousands of years ago. I came to your realm seeking to free my friends who had been sent there by a mad Turaga. I was driven off by her manis crabs, but I came again and again, only to fail each time. By the time I slipped past your guardians, my friends had been exiled from your realm. I knew not where. Then failure is nothing new to you, Toa. You can take comfort that your defeat today will come as no surprise. He's not a failure. I... I remember. I remember Lesovic defending our home from Rahi Beasts. I remember when he and his team left, never to return. At least not while he was still there. He's not a failure. He never was. He's a hero. A hero. No. No, that's impossible. You are downed, defeated, stunned! Oh, I am stunned. Shocked and amazed, too, that you thought mere links of metal could hold a Toa. Now, you rancid remains of Arahi's dinner, let's try this again. We have no reason to fight Lesovic, none at all. Why should I waste my energy on you when there is easier prey to be found? Uh, no air! The air we gone! We're doomed! Stop it! I have better things to do than toy with the likes of you. So will you fight me? Or will you help your little friend? This isn't over, Karzani. Wherever you go, you had better be looking over your shoulder, because one day I will be there. And I promise I will be the last thing you'll ever see. <gasps> Are you alright? The black water mutated you. Air is poison to you now. You... you promised me a story. Yes. My team of Toa had gone on a vital mission many ages ago. I had hesitated for a crucial second in battle, resulting in my entire team being killed. Haunted by guilt, I returned home, only to find that all the Matorn I had befriended had been sent to the realm of Karzani. Unable to free them, I became a wanderer. I have done some good, but never enough to atone for my past mistakes. Then maybe this is your chance to do that. Karzani is a menace. If he were to ally with the Baraki, Marino would stand a chance. We have to stop him. If he is stopped here, he will just return to his realm and do more evil to his Matoran captives. No, Sarda. We need to do more than stop him. We need to destroy him. Why so quiet? We have seen death and destruction today with the promise of much more to come. We have seen heroes behaving like villains. 
You yourself have done things even I would be reluctant to do. It is a time for celebration. I'm doing only what I have to do to save the life of Mata Nui. A life you put in jeopardy. Think what you like, little Toa, and try to avoid admitting to yourself that you are one bad day, one moment of cruelty, one fit of rage away from being me. Come with me. I want to show you something. What? Call it an answer to some of your questions. I discovered this shortly after taking over the body of Maxilos. It's an entrance to the original pit, the prison once inhabited by the Baraki and others like them. There is something down there I think you should see. How do I know this isn't a trap? You don't. But surely a strong and brave tower like yourself fears nothing. Follow me. What is this? All that remains of a Toa of Water named Tuyet. She was condemned here many thousands of years ago. She died here, though I don't know why. Perhaps she was trying to escape. Why was she sent here? It is hard for me to give exact reason, since I did not even know here existed until a few days ago. But I do know her crime. She tampered with an object of power that did not belong in her hands. It was too much for her. She went wild, was defeated by Toa Likon and Toa Nidiki, and the object was destroyed, or so the heroes thought. Get to the point. I would have thought it would be obvious. Tuyat is dead. She is also the only one who might know how the powerful artifact the Nui Stone could be recreated. I want you to use your mask, Matoro, the mask of reanimation. I want you to bring her back. You're insane. I won't do what you ask. I must have missed the part where I gave you a choice. I want you to use your mask power to reanimate this corpse. And I want you to do it now. I could just kill you, Matoro. Take the mask and do the job myself. But it's so much more amusing this way. Even if I bring her back, she won't be able to help you recreate the Nui Stone. So have no spirit, no mind. I have always found the minds of Toa to be vastly overrated anyway. Now, get to work. Behold, when the Nui Stone exploded so many thousands of years ago, most of it vaporized, but some fragments survived buried in Tuyet's armor. With these, I can recreate the stone as it once was. All I need is the proper tool. What tool? The Staff of Artaka. And unless I'm mistaken, your old friends, the Toa Nuva, are about to get it for me. Matoro! Where are you going? And who is that Toa with you? She looks... Uh, Matoro, what have you done? We have a meeting to attend. Or have you forgotten? One of my brotherhood waits near Mari Nui, but he will not wait long. You wouldn't want to make us late, would you? And Matoro, breathe a word to Hali, and neither of you will live to see another tide. Hali, don't worry. Everything's fine. Just trust me. I do trust you, but I think you've become a little too used to keeping secrets, brother. And I'm starting to wonder if you trust me, or any of us. It will all work out. Everything is going just as planned. As smooth as that time Nuparo used his mask of flight to transport you over the chasm. Remember? Now I... we have to go. Matoro! Wait a minute.
When I flew with Nuparu, he dropped me. I almost got killed. Matoro was trying to send me a message. He's in trouble, and I wish I knew how to get him out. <laughs> Yeah. Speak, machine. I know you have a voice. I am Kazani, and I would know. What is this staff of Artaka, and where can I find it? Or do I need to dismantle you and tear the information out of your mechanical mind? So this is the legendary Karzani. Interesting. Even if the design was not familiar, you have the stink of our talker about you. Reason enough to turn you to scrap. Speak up, you miserable machine. I cannot hear your words. I said, so this is Karzani. Karzani, the jailer of Matoran. Karzani, the would-be avatar of evil. Karzani... The fool. And soon to be a dead fool. Who are you? I am Makuta. I am power. You have broken my Toa and delayed my passage. And I hate to be late. Yes. I've heard of you, Makuta. A tin-covered tyrant who wishes to be lord of the Matorin, as if being worshipped by insects had some meaning. I do not know where you are going, but I do know this. Your journey is about to end here. I have powers of my own, Makuta. Observe! Oh. Yes! Yes! See the future day when the Toa Nuva will awaken the Great Spirit, Matanui! Witness the Great Spirit's power surge through the universe, seeking out those who would dare to rebel against him. Embrace the terrible vengeance of Matanui and the final punishment that awaits you! <laughs> you made a mistake, Kazani. You see, I don't get nightmares. I give them. Your shadow plays are impressive, tyrant. But never forget who is the true master of shadows. Karzani doesn't seem like he would still be a threat. Not after what Maxillus just did to him. I'm not sure who this Maxillus is or what his powers are. But I once ran into a rock lion half dead from injuries received in battle, mad with pain. I thought it would be easy to end it and put the poor thing out of its misery. That fight lasted three days, and the rock lion won. Don't underestimate a wounded foe. If anything, our enemy may be more dangerous now than ever before. As you requested, my master, the staff of Artaka. That is all the staff needs. One piece, and its power will recreate the stone as it once was. And what good will that do you? What do you plan to do with it? Very well, my curious little Toa. Think on this. Tuyet and later Nidiki were not the only Toa to ever turn on the others. And if the next one should happen to fall under my sway, well, what better than to use the Nui Stone to increase his power a hundredfold, a thousandfold? Imagine an all-powerful Toa at my command, wiping your kind from the face of this planet. 
I can't let you do this. And I can't let you stop me. No one can stop me now. Ah! Who dares? In my time, I've dared lots of things. Maybe too many things. I fell a long way from the light, and I can never find my way back. But the darkness is not so complete that I can't recognize a monster when I see one. Botar! It's gone. The staff is gone and you cannot reach it. You've lost. If I have lost the staff, you are about to lose everything. You seem to have me mistaken for someone who has anything at all left to lose. Get out of here, now! Get back to the other Toa. I'll handle Makuta. You cost me the Nui Stone. You have become... an annoyance. Then let's see if I can move up to an irritation. You know, Makuta, we can do this all day. But it won't get you what you want. And that is... Well, you don't want the Mask of Life. If you did, you would never have hired those bumbling Paraka to get it for you. But you do want to be there when it's found, pulling everyone's strings. You want to decide who has it, how they use it, and when. Am I getting warm? A little too warm for comfort. Please. I was getting out of stasis fields while you were still under Strahl raising archives moles. What is it you want, Brutaka? Once I would have said I wanted the mask myself. Once I would have seen myself ruling a universe with it. Now I guess you could say my vision's improved, and I just want to see you sweat. Oh, and by the way, Nocturne had the mask last I saw, but Hydraxon was about to take it away from him. And who knows what that lunatic will do with it. So maybe you better go see. This isn't over. Oh, Makuta, I'm counting on that. This is what we're going to do. I spotted some equipment in a Baraki weapons cache. We're going to make a trap and then lure Kazani into it. And then we can- <gasps> No. Lesovic? Are you alright? You seem so far away. Alright? Yes. No. It's just... This doesn't feel right somehow. Like it wasn't supposed to happen this way. Don't be silly. Of course it was. We won, didn't we? Thanks to you. We're Toa. Don't we always win in the end? So stop frowning and come on. The Matoran are putting on a celebration for us. I can't escape the feeling that I'm not supposed to be here. That there's something else I should be doing right now. But for the love of me, I can't think of what it was. I'm not sure I even want to. Right now, this moment, I feel the happiest I have in a long, long time. I'm with my team, and no one is ever going to take me away from them, ever again. What's wrong with him? Lesovic said Karzani can show you alternate events, usually horrifying ones intended to terrify you, but Idris, what if... He showed you a future or a past that you wished for. And what if you wanted it so much that you stay trapped in that vision forever? This is crazy. Would you just hold up for a second and listen? You saw what happened outside. Kersani did something to Lesvik. I know he did. That leaves only us to find him. And that's what we're going to do. Now. Remember the plan. I was able to find the material Lesovic mentioned and rig a mischief trap. We get him to chase us, he trips the trap, and wham! I just hope it's a wham for him, not wham for us.
that was fun. I never get tired of bashing a few heads together. Hey, some of the guys were suggesting we patrol that Zyglak hunting ground next week. What do you think? <laughs> sure. I... Wait. Something she said is triggering a flash of memory. Nikila and the others were dead, killed by the acid cloud we had defeated so long ago. But wait, that wasn't right. They weren't dead, they're alive. Aren't they? And they weren't killed by an acid cloud? Zyglak! You were killed by Zyglak! What? Those losers kill me? Not on their best day. We had been in a battle long ago, but not with an acid cloud, with a horde of Zyglak. I had seen them coming, but hadn't acted fast enough, and... and... and my teammates died. They all died. Help me, Lasovic, please! No. I had lost the chance to help you or any of the others long ago. My friends are gone. My future is gone. And all that is left to me is revenge. Get back here, you weaklings! I've waited a long time for this moment, Kazani. You will pay for your crimes against the Matoran. <laughs> this is the remnant of the once fearsome ruler? Now a maddened, pathetic shell? No. No, there is nothing more I could do to Karzani than has already been done. And leaving him alive is a worse punishment than killing him. That Toa who told me about this place. Krakua, I think his name was. He said if Karzani was captured, someone would come and take him away. Wherever they take him, I hope they have strong chains. But now what? Arjus and I have become water breeders. We can't live in our own village anymore. What's going to become of us? Follow me. I think this used to be some kind of breathing system. I found it when I was scouting around. It won't work for breathing air, but I was able to repair it for water breathing. Only thing is, there's only enough equipment here for one unit. You take it, Toa. The world needs you. Two Matoran more or less won't matter. <laughs> I don't think there's any place left for me in the world I've known. Maybe there is in this one. Anyway, I'm in no hurry to leave. Then neither am I. You take it, Idris. Go back to Marinui. Tell them... Tell them I want in a new adventure. Where will you go? With you. I don't know everything you've been through, but I think maybe you could use a friend. And a reminder of what I once was. And maybe could be again. <laughs>